Hello, friends. Welcome to Qi Yoga with Lu Qin. Today, we will practice Ba Duan Jin, or the Eight Brocades of Qi Gong. The Ba Duan Jin is a traditional Chinese mind and body practice. It was created in the 12th century by beloved young general Yue Fei in the South Song Dynasty. It was originally documented as a medicinal form of Qigong. With silky and elegant movements, it has been loved and practiced by generations of people. Regular practice of the Ba Duan Jin improves cognitive functions and especially memory. There are many interpretations of the eight brocades, including standing and seated practice. The seated virgins were for wounded soldiers. All right, let's find a even ground to stand on to practice a standing virgin. Stand tall. Project the crown of your head towards the sky. Wait onto your right foot. Step the left foot out to hip width, knees slightly bent. Flow your elbows out, palms facing each other in front of your lower dantian. Relax your shoulders and keep the spine straight. In this Taoist Wuji posture, think of having the bones stacking from earth to heavens. Focus your attention to your lower dantian. Breathe softly and deeply. Finding calm and serenity. Interlace your fingers and slowly move your palms up while standing your legs straight. Exhale, flip the palms, press towards the heavens, look up once. Inhale, look forward and relax your shoulders down. As you exhale, slowly open your arms and keep your wrists engaged. This is the first movement. Hands hold up the heavens to regulate the triple warmer meridian. 双手托天理三焦 A primes the body for the seven movements that follows. Triple warmers connect and coordinate the communications between the organs and the systems in the body. It impacts the immune system and our ability to manage stress. A balanced triple warmer helps to regulate the endocrine system and boost immunity. Press into the base of the palms and stretch the tendons. All of the three yin meridians on the upper body get stimulated. This also helps with shoulder stiffness Slowly return to the Wuji posture for the second flow. Drawing the bow to shoot the bird of prey. Cross your arms over your chest, left over right, while stepping the left foot out to a horse stance. Inhale, send the hips back. Exhale, draw the bow, steer at the left index finger. Thumbs and index fingers straight, the rest of fingers are bent. Shift the weight back to center. Step the right foot out, cross right arm over left. Inhale, exhale, draw the bow and find your aim. This movement strengthens the lungs and improves the liver function. With all the fingers bent except the thumb and the index fingers are straight, that help to chan channel qi to this side of the body, helping better of clearing the blockages. When you aim and stare at a target, 
you strengthen the livers, as the eyes and the livers are one system. Return back to center. Gather hands in front of your lower dantian. Prepare for the third flow, separating heaven and earth to condition the stomach and the spleen. 调理脾胃需丹举 Slowly inhale. Left hand goes up. Right hand goes down. As you exhale, flip the palms. Left hand presses up. Fingers to the right. Bottom hand press down, fingers forward. Release the arms slowly, and observe a full cycle of breath. Then repeat, alternating the arms. This movement conditions the stomach and the spleen. It promotes good absorption and digestion. As you're standing tall, separating heaven and earth, feel the stretch across your abdominal and your spleen. Slowly release the arms down for the first flow. Wide out, gaze back to eliminate five fatigues and seven negative emotions. 五劳七伤望后桥 Standing up straight as you inhale, exhale, turn your head to the left and rotate your arms inside out. Spread your fingers and thumbs point straight back. Inhale, return. Exhale, gaze to the right. This movement offers many benefits, as it stimulates the lungs, the pericardium, and the heart meridians. This also opens the C7 point as you rotate your neck. It allows smoother qi flow in the governing channel of the body. Notice you are also stretching the tendons from the shoulders through the wrists, beneficial for arthritis in the wrists. Come back to Wuji. Step the left foot out to a squat position for the fifth flow. Shake the head and wiggle the tail to calm the heart fire. 摇头摆尾去心火 Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bend over to the right leg. Slowly swing your head and torso to the left leg. Look down to the right foot, then look up. Mindfully roll your neck, lift the chest, and drop the hips down. Deep inhale, exhale, bend over to the left leg. Slowly sweep down to the right. Look to the left foot, shake the head, and wiggle the tail. This movement lowers anxiety. As you pulse down the excess heat from the heart, for it to be nourished by the water element of the kidneys down below. This movement opens the Mingmen point, the door of life 
on the governing channel. It is also a great flow to balance the yin and yang and reduce inflammation, at the same time strengthening the lower body. One more time on each side. Bring the leg back. Bring the hands to your waist. Prepare for the sixth flow. Hands climbing up the legs to strengthen the kidneys. Slightly bend the knees and palms face down. Extend your arms forward and up. Inhale, breathe in heavenly chi. Exhale, lower the hands to your chest. Flip the hands as you pull the arms apart. Then bring your palms over your thoracic spine. Trace the hands down firmly over the bladder meridian through the back line of your body. Cover your feet, then trace along the inside of the legs over the kidney meridian up to your abdominal. Hands come to a diamond mudra. Trace the hands over the belt meridian and massage your kidneys. Then repeat the flow. This movement helps to smooth qi flow in the kidney meridian. Kidneys pairing yang meridian is the bladder meridian. You can think of the bladder meridian as the sewer system for the body. And it has back connecting points to all the organs. Massage the bladder meridian is a great way to nourish all the organs and to detox the body. The belt meridian is the only meridian in the body that goes horizontally. This is a wonderful flow for connection and the longevity. Repeat two more times from here. Cover every part of the feet. A nice massage of the kidneys. Step the left foot out to a horse stance to get ready for the seventh flow. Punching with angry gaze. Chuan Quan Nu Mu Zeng Li Qi. Deep inhale, exhale, punch out with precision. Spread the fingers and rotate the wrist. Wrap the thumb inside the other four fingers and pull back with control. This is a fundamental practice for martial artists. With eyes strongly engaged, it strengthens the liver function. When in a horse stance, the six lower body meridians all get stimulated. This movement is great for releasing anxiety or anger and helps to improve overall strength of the body. Punch out and draw back. Punch, pull back.
Step the foot back and standing tall. Release the hands down to your sides. Chin slightly tucked, while projecting the crown of your head up towards the sky. Engage your core. As you exhale, pull up the pelvic floor and lift the heels off the ground to stand on the balls of your feet. Lower halfway down, then drop with control. The eighth flow, dropping the pose to banish hundreds of illnesses. 背后七颠百病消 This is a qi harvesting movement. At the end of the practice, the gentle drop of the heels help to generate a gentle ripple of vibration in the body. This help to consolidate energy into the organs and systems, yet you feel uplifted and refreshed. Come back to stillness. Extend the arms out, then hug them back in. Stack the palms over your lower dantian. For female, left hand is the dominant hand, so left over right. For male, right hand is the dominant hand, so right hand over the left. Soft breathing. Concentrate on your lower dantian, and notice how your body feels. Feel the chi. The vital life force energy circulates through every cell in your body.